marriage guide welcome to the marriage guide my name is ita udo this is day two of the marriage guides devotional program and we are looking at marriage the original partnership what was the original partnership in marriage the book of genesis 1 verse 26 to 30 says then god said let us make mankind in our image in our likeness so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky over the livestock and all the wild animals and over all the creatures that move along the ground in genesis chapter 2 verse 8 it says now the lord had planted a garden in the east in eden and there he put the man he had formed i want you to take note of a few of these words one he said let's make mankind in our image in our likeness that they may rule second he said he planted a garden and he put man there that he had formed you look at genesis 2 verse 15 and 16 it says so the lord god took the man he had made and settled him in the garden of eden to cultivate and keep it similar to the earlier point and the lord god commanded the man saying you may freely unconditionally eat the fruit from every tree of the garden and then finally genesis 2 verse 19 and 20 says and out of the ground the lord god formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto adam to see what he would call them and whatsoever adam called every living creature that was its name and adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field but for adam there was not found a helper suitable for him that's genesis 2 verse 19 and 20. now how did adam do all of this adam's partnership was with the lord the first partner it wasn't lilith as the myths tell of some other woman before eve some demonic creature no adam first partnered with god the god who created him in his image and breathed life into him gave him responsibilities and helped supervise him he gave him things to occupy him he gave him responsibilities he gave him duties and he had to process them he had to take gardens and tend it carefully he had to take animals and name them and give them an identity so he gave him you could say raw products which he had to process into finished products this was what adam was doing to build and maintain a proper marriage the couple should each have an original partnership with the lord before any other person you have to understand that the first commandment is that man should have no other god before him if we have other things we esteem more highly than the lord before us we create room for contention and this is a reason why so many people are so disappointed after they get married they thought a human being could provide the level of partnership only God can provide. So when their hopes were dashed, they felt let down. Often not caring that they too have let down their partner. I want you to take note that the relationship between Adam and with God, take note that the partnership between Adam and God was based on trust, obedience and a desire to please God well in his duties all right this is the partnership every one of you should have make sure you have it long before you marry the earlier the better if you're five years old and you find the lord even less perfect develop that relationship it's going to serve you in your marriage relationship today i want you to pray that god will assess how you manage your garden now that is every responsibility you are given including yourself your personal space your accommodation your job your family your work relationships and other things the partnership adam had with god involved god coming to see how well adam managed his responsibilities if you will manage your responsibilities well too you will be prepared to be able to manage a human being in partnership better than ever 
God bless you and see you tomorrow. The marriage guy.